When we started farming, there was never any intention to build a business. We began all this with this dream that I had from a young age of raising pigs. When I met Cynthia and we had an opportunity to buy a couple pigs, we set out to raise them not knowing much. And we harvested these two pigs. We were just hooked on the whole process. I didn't have parents that had farms, so I went in with no preconceived notions of how we should raise meat. Having young children, we wanted, just like every parent does, to give their kids the best of everything. We wanted to have the cleanest ingredients available. And so we were farming organically before farming organic was even a thing. It was just this natural progression. We're doing it for our family. There's got to be other families that are interested in this as well. We really wanted to provide a choice for other families. We lost our barn in 95 in a barn fire and lost everything we had, animals and everything. We could have just said, this is not for us, this is too much. The community around us rallied and, and helped us. We wouldn't have truly been able to continue had we not had their help. We owe these people to do this. Look how much they believe in us. Milking our family cow, Bessie, is, is a daily reminder that you really can't rush nature. It's dictated by her and the natural cycle, not by anything I can do. It's a real grounding event. I'm very proud of the fact that our customers are supporting the family farm and our network of ranching families and farmers across the country. We certainly <laughs> uh, build the daily okay. rhythms of our lives around food. Okay. <laughs> Sitting down and having a meal is a celebration of all that went into growing and preparing it as a family and, and love sharing that feeling with others.